Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome, welcome again to another video where we are going to be testing the new Pika 4 Stream Assistant, which is the version that you're seeing right now on the screen, uh, 9.4.15.1. And uh, I'm not quite sure when this one came out. I'll just make sure to leave any anything on the video or on the video description. If I do find anything that shows, uh, I mean, whenever these came out, because I have no clue. Uh, or maybe I just didn't pay attention to the uh, download section on the Pika website. Anyway, something I want to tell you pretty much off the bag is that the problems that I was having with the previous version, uh, which is the one that I showcased on my last video, appears to have been resolved. Uh, as you can see here, if you take a look at the uh, latency, it is actually about 80, 85 and lower uh, from time to time. It's no longer around 130 or 120 or over 100 milliseconds, which is what was happening with the previous version, which I'll leave some kind of description here on a video or maybe on a video description showcasing the version number because I have, I just don't remember what it was uh, right now. And uh, just, just to let you know, I am rocking the same graphic settings that I showcased on my previous video. So if you don't know what those are, just be sure to kind of like, I don't know, go back and watch that video. All right. So these are my Microsoft Fly Simulator settings. I am on DLSS quality, 100% uh, uh, fidelity, fidelity effect sharpening. And if I go down, you're going to see that pretty much I am on medium. Uh, across the board here. So that's pretty much what I have here. Uh, not a whole lot. So for my OpenXR toolkit settings, just go watch the other video. Like right at the end of the video, I showcase my settings. But right now, what I wanted to focus is pretty much on the latency here, which appears to have been resolved. Now, there is a problem that I'm still experiencing. It is not all perfect yet. So let me just kind of reset my position here. There you go. So the problem is with shaking. I don't know what's doing that. I don't know if it's something related to the latency, which may be considered high, I guess. Um, but the problem that I'm having, it's pretty much when I am moving my head, I am for whatever reason, seeing the picture, like the simulator, uh, rendering graphics or whatever, kind of sh shaking a little bit, which is something that I don't notice, or I haven't seen happening with, uh, virtual desktop. Another problem, um, that we still have here. It's the encoding latency or latency with the peak of our stream assistant. Right now it is 23, 28, around 30 milliseconds. And this is pretty high. And um, if you kind of compare this with, uh, I don't know, the latency that we have with virtual desktop, it's with virtual desktop is probably like lower than half what we're getting here. I think it's usually around nine and 10 milliseconds of encoding latency. And again, uh, you can see my graphics card here on the overlay performance overlay, which is a 3090. Uh, but I, I guess, I don't know. We had, we do have some improvements here. Uh, the overall latency is below 85 milliseconds. So we're going to do a quick fly here. Uh, now we are going to turn the battery on. This on. Looking good. Navigation can come on. And um, fuel pump. Let's set it to auto. I'm going to try to do all this stuff here quick enough, I guess. Without wasting any time, we're going to do a uh, 
Oh, we gotta wait for some of that stuff to initialize. And uh, one thing I do like. Oh, this is still happening here. I don't know why. One thing I do like, man, is the fact that the controllers they appear to be better lined up than when I'm using a virtual desktop. I don't know what that's about. Maybe something that's got to be done on virtual desktop. There you go. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Spring down the nose a little bit here. No, bro. Yes. That's what I wanted to do. All right, let's let go of the rudder. Hi man, everything looking good. Look at that beach. Look at the beach, man. Beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Should be good to want to hear. Take this small taxiway here. Still getting used to those rotter pedals, man. Right. All right. Pretty good. Flaps up. Right. Okay, parking brakes set. Right. Okay, so my final thoughts on Stream Assistant 9415.1. I think uh, they are pretty much 
heading in the right direction slowly but surely because you know it's taking him it's taking him a while it's taking him a while uh to get this stuff like sorted and properly working for the pika four um but still we still got some uh quirks going on especially when i move my head i'm still seeing some slight i don't know if it's a tracking issue or a latency introduced type of issue but the picture kind of moves with me a little bit i don't know what to call that uh but it's a little bit distracting to be honest with you uh, another thing that i'm noticing is that the encoding latency is still a little bit high i don't know what's going on i don't know what they're using behind the scene to kind of uh and do the encoding or if they have anything else in the pipeline that's getting in the middle and doing some post processing or whatever uh but it's almost three times of the uh encoding latency that we get with virtual desktop which to me seems a little bit or i guess too high if you will uh, the graphics rendering utilization looks to be fine about 93 percent uh i guess that's that's okay uh the transmit latency um i think i noticed that hitting about 20 milliseconds when i was airborne i don't know what that's about to me i'm assuming transmit we're talking about the the network connectivity that we use into stream to the headset i i am on y5 just so you know, I am not using the USB connection, which is something you can do with the stream assistant with no problems uh, without even using a USB tether, which is good. Uh, but to me, I mean, that you see right there, it hit 21 milliseconds. To me, that's pretty high. With virtual desktop on Wi Fi, it doesn't go beyond 10 milliseconds. You might encounter some jitters, I guess. Uh, especially with Wi-Fi from virtual desktop, uh, which is something you can get sort of if you're using USB to Ethernet adapter type of connection. Uh, you can kind of, you know, get around that a little bit of a jitter uh, with that type of connection. Uh, you, can, you can also get around it with USB tether, but that one is causing a lot of problems on Windows users or Windows with uh, blue screens and you know that kind of weird stuff going on anyway i think you should give this a try already i do uh put my seal of approval finally on stream assistant even though you there's a couple things that you really need to get sorted um or they need to get sorted to kind of get this application to be in a good place uh kind of like where virtual desktop at. Uh, but I guess right now it's pretty good. I mean, as you can see there, I am getting some decent frames per second without even using uh, space worth, uh, whatever, to kind of generate fake frames. Uh, so it's it's pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.